little pickle. Yes, guys. Little pickle. Big pickle. Little pickle. Big pickle. Little pickle. Big pickle. Pickle rig. Little pickle. Big pickle. Pickle rig. Little pickle. Pickle rig. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, guys. Hey guys, it's Big Pickle here, and it's your typical Sunday morning as we're uh, filming this. And yes, it appears we have at least one more installment of the Pickles cooking class. And we are kicking off our Sunday morning by getting our breakfast ready and starting with the preparation of getting these sausage links. Ready, uh, Bob Evans pork sausage links. I think this might be the first time we pick these up on a uh, visit to the United States. So we'll be uh, adding those guys to the pan momentarily. Uh, revealing a little pro tip, as you can already see the skillet here. Uh, use a little bit of existing uh, bacon sausage grease from uh, last weekend's festivities. So we're getting ready to Throw the sausage links in there before we move on to the next step in cooking up our mains. So, obviously, nice and easy. Just remove the shrink wrap from the Bob Evans. Got our pan nice and hot, as you can see from everything melted inside there. Throw these guys in here. Just need to get our tongs out. We're going to move those around real nice. Mm -hmm. maybe somewhere around 10 minutes or so. We'll uh, give you a look as uh, we get a little bit closer. And welcome back, friends. And as you can see, our uh, sausages are coming along very nicely. We've got some, some good browning going on there for the most part. Uh, gonna maybe leave it for another couple minutes just to, to finish really, really crisping up. Not to mention, uh, still uh, waiting on a little pickle to uh, arise from his slumber. So, because um, I kind of need a, a second set of hands before we get on to the main attraction here. Uh, continuing on with our cooks. So, I'm just going to finish up with these sausages. And uh, hopefully a little pickle uh, decides to wake up soon. But uh, I guess that's teenagers for you. So, uh, we should be able to resume the preparation soon so that uh, the whole family can get into some uh, good eats before we uh, start approaching lunchtime. Mm -hmm. To be continued. Hey guys, welcome back to this okay. cooking, breakfast cooking video. As Little Pickle has awoken from his slumber, we have finished the sausages. The pan is ready. It's heating back up again. And now it's time for the main part of our entree to get our pancakes going and to complement those sausages. Old Pickles waking up with uh, OJ featuring uh, Freedom Suffer's uh, mortal enemy or his oh, alter ego's mortal enemy, as it were. All right, so, and I, Big Pickle normally likes to do uh, from scratch, but uh, since we just got back from the States, we're, we're going to uh, feature one of our favorite restaurants, mix of pancake, and speed things up a little bit since uh, with the pancake mix, you get all the stuff you need for the most part inside the box, and so it takes a lot less time to get things going. So we need to add our two cups of pancake mix. Second get out, one down, and we'll call that two. So two in there. We need to, of course, add our milk, which I already pre-poured, so that everybody doesn't need to sit through that part of it. So we've got our two cups of mix, or one cup of milk, and of course, you can't make pancakes without cracking a few eggs. Or at least one in this case. 
they cracked. Do our best to not get any shell in there. And bam! There's a whole bunch of egg. I'll just put that back in there for now. Add to the garden later on. So, however, to make it a little bit more palatable for Little Pickle, we're going to go hardcore. I'm not just going to go with some sort of regular chips. The we're going to go for the, the best, the president's choice. And yes, yes. We're, we're all well aware there is no president in Canada, but there's lots of presidents. This is the president, of course, of our, one of our local food chains choice. This is from our Loblaws slash Superstore. So these are swirled. I didn't even notice that. So we are going even more exciting. Swirled chocolate chips. Swirly, swirly. Oh, yeah, like a... mm. uh, let's go with two. Two seems good. Two and a couple more. Sometimes people sift, or sorry, use a, uh, a whisk, but I like to use the spoon. Save us the trouble of having to do with two separate uh, utensils. So we get our little mix and then we're able to spoon out the pancakes into our pan. So give it a nice mix, just enough so that we get rid of all of the dry there in the middle. Of course, as we are doing this cooking video, we are still amateurs, so comments are acceptable. If you feel like you've got your Looks own like Charlie, doing his whisking for a second there. Oh, uh, we have one of our Charlie. Books. Making his way around the kitchen, have a little snacky. Here He's scratching the floor. He's scratching, scratching the floor because Charlie's a good cat who likes to clean up. And then, of course, to add to the fun, afterwards we'll have our syrup, courtesy of our uh, visit to the States as well. This is Buttersworth, who, of course, is a made by the great Conagra brands. Uh, they make a lot of great products, including... Yeah, it's a very good company. Very good company. Not, uh, this is not a sponsored video, but you know, we'll just give a shout out to uh, Conagra brands and Mrs. Buttersworth. Well, technically rich. sponsored. Oh, another, another pro tip there is, depending on if you like it thick and rich, then you can always have a cake. What, what I don't you? like syrup. And then, yes, of course, Little Pickle doesn't actually like oh. syrup, but, you know, if you like it a little thinner, Radio. best way to go about that, is heat it up. Oh, Alright, so, we're going to get things started. We're going to add some pancakes to the pan, and then we are going to, of course, pick things up again once we're a little closer to being done. Oh, and it looked course, good. Already look good, and we'll see what they look like when they start coming out the pan. Hey guys, welcome back to the cooking video. And here we are with the final finished product. We have our sausages, and we did forget, we managed to omit our special super ingredient, which apparently they don't either use or don't use enough of in the uh, pre-made cracker barrel mix because the first batch of pancakes came out a little bit thin and lifeless so bam you add Dang. some magic baking powder and you get a much thicker fluffier pancake ew and who likes syrup on their pancakes not me mama pickle does so we're gonna yeah. throw on this one here like that we're gonna make the little pickles separate without the syrup and then we're gonna conclude things up with a final review of the pancakes. utopia and me too. All right, folks, we managed to finish our breakfast. All the pancakes are gone. There's a few sausages for leftovers for another morning, potentially. So, Little Pickle, uh, what were your conclusions on uh, this morning's breakfast here? The breakfast was really good. I liked their sausages. It wasn't as, like wet and like soggy as the rest of the sausages that are usually made. All right, so it's, you're saying it's one of the, the better brands of sausages then you find it's it's not uh, quite as fatty and moist, I guess, and you, you like the, uh, the firmness and the flavor of the Bob Evans sausages over most of the competitors, it sounds like. And what about the pancakes? What do you think of the pancakes? I found the pancakes were pretty good. I liked the Tasted them. They fell apart pretty easily, though. Yeah. Like it was stuck. To I see. Well, yes. I guess that was 
in part uh, due to all the, the butter and all of the rest of it. But I think the one takeaway I had from it was yeah, it definitely requires a little bit of the magic baking powder because otherwise, unless of course you do like flat thin pancakes. But other than that, yeah, the, the flavor was good and definitely the uh, the chocolate chip swirl, swirl I chocolate chips. Chocolate chips mm -hmm. All right, apparently Lil Pickle will prefer more chocolate chips next time. Oh, I want it. Mm. All right. All right, little pickle, any other comments to add? Nope. All right, then. Thank you guys for watching. Come back, subscribe. Bye.